All right, I'm on my last day here at the Ryan Research Center at the Bioenergy Emissions Lab. I'm waiting on the photon multiplier tube to cool on down so we can do a few last experiments uh, as I formulate this energy. And while I'm waiting on it, we have a random number generator here. The random number generator uh, is a computer program that uh, spits out random numbers, random zeros and random ones. Now, when you play with energy around this random number generator and focus the energy just right, you can increase the ones or the zeros that it puts out. For feedback, they produce us a picture here. And this picture is real pixelated. And the idea is with your mind is to make it totally fade out, pixelate, or to pull it the other direction and clear up. So I'm going to do five quick tries and see if I can cause the data to go outside of this curve here. And that will cause it to be highly significant for my interference with energetics. Here we go. Okay, I got a little bit off the start, dropped back down on me, and got away. I'll do four more times. Nope, that was just, uh, just standard. There we go, now I'm getting it what I want. That's what I try to achieve is to get it to clear, holding magnetic fields in my mind. See, I went above the line right there. This is considered highly significant, but then to let it get away from it, brought it back down. I got a few distractions here. We'll do it a couple more times. Alright, pull up one, then let's see if I can make it go away. Well, I did get it to push down. Yeah, there we go. Fade the picture out, push it out of focus. There we go. See how we make the data go down? Alright, let's see here. I'm going to try to pull it up this time. But that's not happening. It's staying about normal. Alright, give me one more try. But anyhow, I just wanted to kind of show you how this works. We uh, play with this on and off, and it's a good practice for holding magnetic fields at a constant in their minds. And when I get it constant, I make that clear up. It's like holding a muscle in my mind. Like that. That's how you do it. You got this mental capacity here where you lock into it and then you just keep locking and lock it in. That did good. Let's try one more. See there? I'm pulling a muscle in my mind. Oh yeah. That's what I mean. That's more significant there that my mental influences affected the numbers. Well, we got that good. Let's try one more. Try to go the other way. Let me blind it out. Make it go out of focus. Nope, the one getting away from me. See there? That's how the mental, it just, it'll slip on you. You just got to stay real locked in and focused on it. Just target it. Now, that's just a random. 
So this is something fun to play with. I'm going to work on getting a system like this that I can bring home with me. Alrighty. But y'all got the idea here. We play with all kind of toys. Not toys. These are scientific instruments. So uh, it's interesting to train your mind with instruments like this. And then it makes you able to do energetic medicine in a much better repeatable manner. 